Hi, I'm Jim Holstrom, the General Manager of Parker's newest global division, the Energy Grid Tie Division, based in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm excited to tell you about our newest product that we're launching at the Solar Power International Show in Chicago this week. It's our 890 GTS Solar Inverter. This is a outdoor rated solar inverter rated at IP65, and it's been designed from the ground up using technology that is, is very, very friendly to the O&M groups that will be servicing this inverter for its 25 year life. Let me talk to you about some of the key features of this inverter product. We maintain an IP65 seal on the door, and then behind this door is the heart and soul of the inverter. Here you have our inverter modules where you have nine separate CD phase assembly modules that are rated at close to 1,000 amps apiece. This allows us at 1,000 volts for the DC infeed to attain power ratings that approach 1.8 megawatts for solar applications and over 2 megawatts for better energy storage applications. Each one of the modules are modular where you have four screws on the front and two screws on the side that allow you to exchange the modules to either scale the inverter to a higher rating or to service the inverter. Each module is, weighs less than 50 pounds and can be changed in approximately 10 minutes. These CD phase assemblies come in and out of the inverter in minutes. So we have an industry leading mean time between repair figures of less than 28 minutes. So within a few minutes, you take four screws and two screws on the side and unplug the, uh, the gate driver connection and the module slides out of the inverter. It's as easy as that. And these modules are actually designed so that they can be brown boxed and shipped anywhere in the world. So they weigh about uh, a little over 40 pounds and they're very easy to handle. So anywhere that uh, these inverters would be in the world, which may be in remote areas, then uh, low tech people can actually do the service themselves. So it does not require uh, a dispatch of an electrical engineer. One of the key features of the phase assembly design for the Parker Hannifin inverter is that we use metal foam capacitors for the DC bus network. This allows us to, to have a life rating on the inverter itself of up to 25 years and are very, very reliable. The other aspect is that we have conformal coated uh, PC boards uh, throughout the CD phase assembly and then we have self-aligning blind connections on the back all with patents that are, uh, were designed for Parker. One of the other great design features on the CD phase assembly is that we have the drive brake connectors that allows us to maintain not only the electrical connections uh, as a pluggable design, but also the pumped refrigerant that are specially designed cold plates under each one of the IGBTs. This allows us to plug in the modules and exchange them without the loss of refrigerant. We have patents around the cooling system of this inverter that allows us to get this incredible power density. We use a pump refrigerant cooling where we take R134A refrigerant, the same refrigerant that you would have in your automobile, and we pump the refrigerant through each one of these inverter phase assemblies. That collects the heat and then brings the, the refrigerant to a condensation loop that is in the heat exchanging unit on the other side of the inverter. Typically with an inverter system, you use you exchange outside air to cool the inverters, or you use an air conditioning system which uses a compression cycle. This inverter uses a two-phase vaporizable dielectric fluid to cool not only the CD phase assemblies and the reactors in the LC filter, but also the entire inverter itself. So we do not require any type of chiller or air conditioning system to cool the inverter, and that allows us to attain the highest reliability and the highest efficiencies that are available in the industry today. The one way that we are allowed to attain the IP65 rating is the way that we're cooling this inverter. The modules are cooled with refrigerant, but we also cool each one of the, uh, the higher heat load elements within the inverter. The reactors themselves are, they have the same pluggable design as the CD phase assemblies do. And then we also use the same refrigerant cooling technology to cool the parasitic losses in the inverter. This allows us to get efficiency, an all-in efficiency, weighted efficiency of greater than 98.3%, which is industry leading. One of the other key features of our inverter 
is we have the, the Parker CTC HMI touchscreen. This is connected to a National Instruments controller. Networked on the controller are over 100 points of telemetry. We're measuring heat sink temperatures on all the IGBTs, all the capacitors within the CD modules, and then all the bus bar connections throughout the inverter where critical connections are made. The way that we do that is we have a patented design around what we call Parker Heat Seeker technology. And this measures the actual temperature of these junctions, and these are live high voltage components. And that brings that information back to this controller where it can be accessed remotely. And then when that information is brought back to the controller, then we can make the decision on whether to fold the inverter power back or schedule maintenance on the inverter so that we avoid catastrophic failure.